we have to take the implications of where technology is right now and kind of its history and then extrapolate that, project it into the future. 5, 10, 20, 30, 50 years, okay? I don't say a thousand years, I don't say a hundred years because I think that everything is going to radically change in the next 30. Uh, we just have to make sure that when we project things we take into account the possibility that it's on an exponential curve and it's not a linear progression. And I, th I think that we need to be having these conversations publicly so that there's accountability and so that there's transparency. The developers of technology through a good part of the 20th century were very secretive about what they were doing and there was different camps who all had their own reason for keeping the technology that they were developing secret. So what's happened is, is, that, is that I think there's still this culture of as technology is developing it's done inside of a black box that is difficult to peer into and so we have lots of cases of technological disasters that have hurt people, killed people, and I think that we have the right to ask questions and we better be involved in that conversation in these few decades to come. There's a lot of details to talk about as far as there's so many given technologies and what their implications are. I'm kind of a generalist and I admit that and I acknowledge that and I'm trying to find how to function that way <clears throat> because I like that meta layer view of things. But it's also important to have, to have practical examples of how things really affect us in our lives and our families and communities and businesses and us as you know as nations and as, as a species we're all really in this together it's kind of like Carl Sagan talking about the pale blue dot and how uh, and like Horton here's a who and this tiny civilization that we have on this speck that we're really gonna we're, we have a chance to either completely leave that place and branch outward and become something re more remarkable than we are now or we can just really snuff it all out if we just continue along in our impulses as animals and not talking about that too. Part of talking about science is talking about the science of why we react to things the way that we do and it helps really take things down with people because you don't have to have a fight with your wife or your girlfriend or your neighbor or a kid at school if you're able to understand your own reactions and to find compassion for another person because you think of them as a creature that is going about its business just like any other creature on our planet just and just like a bird or a squirrel or a cat or a dog they're gonna have a reaction when I when I personally think about people in those terms it helps me tone down the judgment and it helps me um, accept myself in the way that I'm feeling more so and when you stop judging other people you'll be really amazed at how much more peaceful living can be and I recommend it